Hello everyone in this video, let us start uh, using Jira Cloud. I basically want to revisit uh, Jira Cloud. It has been a um, few months since I used Jira Cloud and uh, the good thing about uh, Jira Cloud is that uh, you always find uh, all the new features, all the latest updates uh, that are supposed to be there on uh, Jira they are always released on Jira Cloud first. So it can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing if you uh, don't really want those features, but uh, the cloud is always evolving. The cloud is always uh, updated with the new features. So let us start uh, using uh, Jira Cloud. And in this uh, video or in this video series, I will be creating basically a series of videos where uh, I will uh, do a kind of a crash course or uh, uh, short tutorials on uh, using Jira Cloud. And I will be, of course, uh, looking at Jira Core, Jira Software, and uh, Jira Service Desk. So let us start uh, signing up. And uh, let us start uh, first with signing up on uh, Atlassian website and start using Jira Cloud. So right now I am on uh, the Atlassian uh, website, atlassian.com. And if I go to the uh, product section, I have the option to take a look at different uh, products. So the first product that I want to evaluate is uh, Jira Core. And then I will later on install uh, Jira software and Jira service desk. So let us start uh, first by signing up. So when you click on this uh, Jira Core, you have the option to, of course, uh, evaluate it on cloud. So for this particular uh, video series, we'll be using the cloud version. So you can uh, uh, do a sign up. You can click on this button, try it free. And uh, it will uh, let you evaluate for seven days. But uh, what you can also do if you want to keep on evaluating it, you can actually take a backup of your cloud instance and then you can restore it on a new evaluation version. Of course, uh, this is only for evaluation, not really for actual usage. So I need to first uh, uh, be, I need to be logged in with my Atlassian ID. And I need to use or basically I need to give my site, my Jira instance a name. So I'll uh, probably give this, uh, this instance a name, let us say something like Jira tutorial, maybe. So yes, we have Jira tutorial .net, which is available. So let us sign up for this uh, evaluation version of uh, Jira core. And uh, when you click on this uh, button, it will take a while it will uh, probably <clears throat> take a few seconds or maybe few minutes to set your uh, instance, it will probably take maybe <clears throat> half a minute, I, I don't know, uh, it, it is usually a couple of minutes. So uh, it will probably ask you to select what type of team do you work in. So let us say I want to use Jira for legal uh, team. Okay, so the next thing that is uh, uh, that, that basically it is asking is that which of the best, which of these best describe your role, I believe. So let us say I am a, a commercial or maybe a contract analyst. Uh, analyst. So once you fill up these uh, values, you can then uh, select your language. Have you used Jira before? Maybe no. So I want to say no, I have not used Jira before. And uh, it seems to be very quick, usually it takes uh, a while. Uh, but uh, it seems like uh, we have this welcome screen. So what I want to do quickly is I want to, uh, so I have a few options. Uh, it says see a project in action create a new project, import from another tool. So I don't really want to go through this uh, see a project in action. We'll directly create a new project and uh, we can start working on it. Or what we can do, we can actually create a sample project so that we have a project with some actual data. Not actual, but dummy data, but uh, it will be good to see how it uh, looks like. So let us create a sample project and uh, then it will ask you to select the template. And usually when you create a new project in Jira, you have to select your template or the type of project. Since we are talking about Jira core, we just have one category 
which is business and we have just one template called the project management let us click on the next button so i want to give my uh, project a name maybe demo project and my key is uh, dp or maybe i'll just rename it to demo and then i click on submit button so that uh, i can uh, take a look at my project with some dummy data so i hope there is some data in this so we can uh, probably play with it and uh, do some uh, searching so right now we are working on the cloud version of instance and the moment you create a new project you are presented with this uh, board and this board is something similar to your kanban board uh, that you have in uh, jira software but i believe this is uh, not exactly like your kanban board or scrum board it is a very simple uh, visualization of uh, the work that you have uh, pending right now which is uh, I mean, right now it is all in to do, but as you start working on those issues or you have no new issues that you need to work on, you can uh, see them in the to do list. And right now on this uh, on this section, on this uh, view, we have this uh, project uh, sidebar and now we also have this global sidebar. So we'll probably go through this interface later, but let us just focus on the project because uh, this is the very first time we are working on a Jira project on cloud and we are looking at jira core and jira core is uh, meant for uh, uh, someone who is not interested in using jira for uh, maybe software development or service desk it is for any business user maybe you are uh, in a legal team or maybe you run uh, maybe hr department or maybe you just want to keep track of things and you have a team that you, that is working on those activities so you can use jira core which is for uh, non technical uh, team uh, and they are not really doing any software development. So the first thing that you will notice is this board where you can um, see the list of activities. And if you, if you probably click on those cards, so these, these, these items are nothing but uh, actual tasks. But if you click on it, you can see the actual issue, uh, or I should say the activity. And this is where you can uh, take a look at all the details, like uh, the description, uh, of the issue you can see that on the right hand side you have this status so right now this uh, issue is new or it is not really uh, being picked by anyone so far uh, you, it will be in a to-do state but you can also see here that there is a, a field here that's, that is basically assigning so right now this issue is actually assigned to uh, me but whenever you create a new issue, let us create a new issue very quickly. So there is this option here to create a new issue. And in Jira, everything is an issue or you can say issue is like a generic term, but you have different types of issues. So you can have, let us say, um, let us say if you want to use uh, Jira for HR onboarding, so you can have an issue like onboarding or maybe if you want to do interviews, so you can create an issue type like interview. So we'll probably discuss those things later. But uh, if you want to create a new issue, new issue uh, can be created very easily by, by simply click, uh, clicking on this option here called create. And then you can type in your summary of the issue like I want to do this. And you can very, very easily create a new issue by using this quick interface. But you have the option to fill in more details. So if, if you click on it, you can then uh, fill in the description. Description is nothing but uh, a text field, a text area field where you can have uh, more details. This is my description. And uh, the good thing about this particular field is that you can have, of course, multiple lines or uh, you can do some kind of uh, formatting. So you can have multiple paragraphs, you can have uh, bullets or maybe some uh, ordered list but after you save this description you can also add a comment and this comment is use, useful for basically engaging with your uh, uh, assignee or the person who is supposed to be working on this so let us say if this issue is assigned to one of your one of your user in the team so that user can ask you a question or maybe uh, seek more clarification so something like uh, can you get me more details so whenever you add a comment uh, both the users who are involved so right now we have a reporter reporter is the person who raised the ticket and uh, assign is the person who is uh, 
supposed to be working on this issue. So if you are an assignee, you can start working on the issue by changing the status from to do to in progress. So you can change the status and it means that uh, you have started the work. And the moment you change the status and if you probably close this pop up, you can see here that the issue is already moved to the in progress column. So these three columns will reflect the work that you're doing in your uh, project. And uh, we can of course do a few more things uh, uh, when it comes to tracking who is doing what. So we'll of course uh, take a look at those aspects. But uh, the moment you create a new project in Jira, you will of course have uh, this list which is empty. Right now we do have some activities that are already there, but usually it is empty. So this is all I wanted to do in this uh, video. In the next uh, uh, in the next set of videos, we'll be, of course, uh, going through different aspects of uh, using Jira core, but we'll also uh, take a look at uh, Jira software, Jira service test, and uh, uh, we will also take a look at uh, the configurations of these projects. And uh, we will definitely spend some time uh, looking at how we can customize these uh, projects based on our own requirements. Because when you use Jira, the best part of Jira is that it can be customized for uh, for matching your requirements in the company because the way you want to use Jira, the way you want to do project management or maybe the way you want to do simple task tracking, it can be customized, it can be uh, uh, defined uh, in the tool. So we'll be, do we'll be doing a lot of customizations as well. And I'm basically creating these, uh, these videos on Jira Cloud because uh, every year uh, I try to uh, refresh myself with all the new features because uh, Jira Cloud always has something new, something uh, that is released or there is some new feature that you need to, that maybe you are curious to know how it works. And someone who is uh, interested in using Jira Cloud, these set of videos will definitely be helpful because you can also learn how Jira works, but uh, whether Jira Cloud is suitable for you or not, uh, you can uh, definitely get those answers by watching these uh, video series. And of course, uh, I will be talking about uh, different aspects where Jira Cloud, how Jira Cloud is different from Jira server version. So you can also do a comparison. So let us, uh, let us uh, end this video and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much.